Okay, good morning everyone. Today we are entering a new topic, decimals. Okay, or in Bahasa Perpuluhan. Okay, first one is recognizing decimals. Okay, for example, sometimes when you have fever, okay, your mom or the doctor will use a thermometer and take your temperature. So look, the temperature here is 38.5 degrees celsius 38.5 degrees celsius so this 0.5 here is a decimal perpuluhan or when your teacher or the doctor measure your height okay measure your height 1.25 meters 1.25 meters so this point here is a decimal now why do we need decimal before this we learn in max in round number okay you learn to count in round number for example 36 37 38 39 but between 38 and 39 there are still some values in between so we have 38.1, 38.2, 38.5, 38.6, all the way until 39. So this is how decimals are used. Or this one. We have 1 meters. You count from 1 until 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1 meters, 2 meters, 3 meters, 4 meters. But most of us, we are between 1 and 2 meters. Ketinggian kita antara 1 meter dan 2 meter. Jadi kita perlukan titik perpuluhan untuk mendapat bacaan yang lebih tepat. 1.25 meter. Okay, another example here. Um, Pandalela won the bronze medal. Um, okay, her score. She was in the diving competition. Okay, diving competition, her score was... 359.2 okay 359.20 so this is where we need to use point because we have 359 then after that you have 360 but in between here antara sini kita boleh letak point 1 point 2 point 3 point 4 okay let's look at another example here In 2013, the world's fastest man, Usain Bolt, set a new world record time for running 100 meters. The time was 9.58 seconds. Usain Bolt's time was 9 whole seconds, 5 tenths of a second, and 8 hundredths of a second. Okay, so his time was 9.58. Okay, so if you count the normal whole number, we have 7, 8, 9, 10. But between 9 and 10, you still have, you can put in decimal point. You have 9.1, 9.2, 9.3, 0.4, 0.5. And then you can have 9.51, 9.52, 9.53, 9.54, 9.55, Okay, so here, these are the place value for decimals. Okay, place value. Um, I'm sure you'll learn about your place value. Okay, nilai tempat. Nah. Place value, nilai tempat. So you learn about your ones. Okay, your ones is 1 until 9. Lah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then your tens. Uh, nilai tempat puluh. You have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Then you have your hundreds, nilai tempat ratus, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, okay? So this one, the 9 here is the 1s here. Now, after the decimal point, selepas titik perpuluhan ini, nilai tempat dia yang pertama, the first one, the first number we call a tenth. Okay, a tenth, or in fraction, it is 1 over 10. Okay, in fraction is 1 over 10, because 1 divide 10. 
Okay, that is the first decimal place, nombor yang pertama. The second decimal place, tempat yang kedua selepas titik, kita panggil 100. Because it is 1 over 100. Okay, so remember, the one that you learn, 1, 10, 100, 1000, those are the num for the numbers before the point. Okay, nombor, nilai tempat yang awak sudah belajar, sa, Pulau, ratus, ribu, puluh ribu. Yang itu untuk nombor sebelum titik. Nampak titik ini. Sebelum titik. So, kalau untuk nombor selepas titik. Okay, for the numbers behind the point. We call them 10 for the first number. 100 for the second number. Okay, 1 per 10 untuk nombor pertama. 1 per 100 untuk nombor yang kedua. Here's another example. The number 12.06 is made from one ten, two ones, no tens, and six hundreds. Okay, another example here. 12.06. Right, 12.06. So 12, the two is ones, the one is tens. Okay, dua yalas sa. Satu ialah puluh. Yang itu untuk sebelum titik. Selepas titik, okay, kita ada kosong dan kita ada enam. So, this is read as 12.06. Okay. So, later you have an exercise where you have to write the decimals in words. So, how should you write the decimal in words? Just like how you write the normal numbers like for example 38.5 you write 38.5 okay 1.25 meters you write 1 o n e 1.25 okay just like that this one 359.2 you write it as 359.2 zero if a zero you put zero behind Okay. So the point we call it as decimal point, titik perpuluhan. And the numbers behind, we call them decimal places. So three decimal places, that means there are three digits. Okay, three decimal places, that means there are three digits after the decimal point. So if one decimal place, okay, this one, let's say 1.1, okay, 1.1. So this is one decimal place, satu tempat, uh, satu tempat perpuluhan, one decimal place. If I put 1.12, and this one is two decimal places, dua tempat perpuluhan. If I put 1.121, this one is three decimal places, tiga tempat perpuluhan, okay. So, three decimal places, that means three digits. Two decimal places, two digits. One decimal place, one digit. So, this is the smallest fish in the world. The length is 7.9 millimeters. 7.9 millimeters. The zeros behind... Actually, they have no value. The zeros behind here, they have no value. So you can just write 7.9. You put one, you put a lot of zero behind, they also have no value. Kosong di belakang titik ini, tak ada nilai. So you can just write 7.9. Tujuh perpuluhan sembilan. Form a decimal number with three decimal places. Form a decimal number with three decimal places. Okay, three decimal places means there are three digits. Ada tiga nombor di belakang titik. Okay, tiga nombor di belakang titik. So what we can do is we can put a three in front. Point zero nine zero. Okay, so we have three digits behind. Ada tiga nombor di belakang. So ini ialah tiga tempat perpuluhan. Three decimal places. 
Okay, so your homework for today. Very simple. Question 2 and question 3. You have to write. When I say question 2, it means A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Yeah? A and H. So you have to write these decimals in words. Okay. Tulis dalam perkataan. For example, the first one is 0 0.7. So you just write 0. Point seven. Okay, or you want to answer in bahasa, you boleh jawab kosong perpuluhan tujuh. Okay, kosong perpuluhan tujuh. Zero point seven. So B, one point four three. Okay, one point four three. Satu perpuluhan empat tiga. And then C, eight. 0.011 okay, I was sebut nombor dia satu per satu. You, you write the word, the number, you mention the number one by one. So you don't write 11 here, you don't write 11 here, you just write 8.011. So that is something different for decimals. Okay, number three, you have to complete the table according to their place values. For example, this number is 0 0.317. So the ones is 0. Can you see the first number is 0? So the ones is 0. So the 10 is the second number, which is 3. The second one is 100, which is 1. The last one is the 1000. Ah, the third digit is the 1000. Okay, so 0 0.317, 0 is the 1s, 3 is the 10s, 1 is the 100, 7 is the 1000. So, untuk bahasa, yang point 3 ini ialah per 10, yang 1 ini ialah per 100, yang 7 ini ialah per 1000. Then you write the words, 0 point, Okay, 317. Okay, I'm sure you can spell, right? 0 0.317. Okay, so you complete this table. Four question here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, lukis jadual ni. Dan uh, lengkapkan. Okay, lengkapkan jadual. Ikut uh, nilai tempat dia. Okay, nilai tempat dia. Ada yang perlu tulis perkataan. Ada yang perlu tulis nombor. Tulis digit di sini. Okay, so this is your homework for today. So pause the video and you can look at the exercise now and you can do it in your exercise book and we'll discuss in the next video. Okay, so if you have learned something, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.